<laughs> I put a stool back there so you guys can jump up on that thing, man. Hey, so we're going to uh, open in prayer, and then we're going to sing a couple of worship songs, and then uh, we've got a special guest that's going to come to speak into your lives. I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, so I'll introduce her in just a moment. So let's do this. Let's, uh, let's bow our heads, turn out the house lights, and let's uh, go to the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, we love you so much, and we thank you for this day. We thank you for this opportunity that we have to come and to worship you. We thank you that we have a school that we're able to not only uh, uh, talk about you, but we're able to worship you, God. We never, ever want to take that for granted. Father, I ask that for the next few minutes, we would just empty ourselves of everything going on in our lives and in the world, and we would just begin to focus on you and you alone. God, I pray that as we worship you, Father, we do it in spirit and in truth. We do it with all of our hearts. We're not performing. We're worshiping you. And I pray that it prepares us to hear your word. I love you. I praise you. I thank you. And I pray these things in your name, in the name of Jesus. And everybody said, amen, amen. 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 You guys stand to your feet. Let's worship.
you so much for allowing us to be here today. We know there are so many schools that we still not able to be back, so we thank you so much for allowing us to be here. We thank you for allowing us to be in this room. We praise you and worship you for the heard of your body. We have you to fill our love, fill the things that we have for you, Father. I ask you to touch every single person in this room today and allow them to have a safe and amazing rest of the day and safe and amazing day. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen, amen. Wasn't that good? They, uh, they never cease to make me. Go ahead and put the house lights back up. If you've not already muted the corded mics, go ahead and mute the corded mics. So I'm excited about today. So I always try to pray about uh, who God leads me to. And, uh, you know, this month is not only the love month. It's also Black History Month. And uh, I, I love that I walk through the hallways and I see doors that are decorated. And I've been to some of your classrooms in the middle school and at lunch and at power hour. Uh, your teachers are actually playing, uh, educating us on black history. And I absolutely, positively love that. And so I ask God to lead me to to uh, 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 some folks that would really be able to speak into black history. And uh, so yesterday, you guys got to meet a UFC fighter, uh, Jamie Pickett, and I thought it was awesome. He spoke for the high school chapel and uh, uh, just spoke from the heart and was really special. But today, today, I am sure of this, that God led me to this person. Most of you know her. You've seen her around. Uh, you, you've been encouraged by her. You've been loved on by her. Some of you have even been corrected by her, and that's okay, because correction is love. And uh, uh, I just wanted her to kind of speak into us. A lot of times we, we hear about black history and it doesn't, it doesn't hit home. It doesn't hit home to us. And so uh, today we've got somebody who actually grew up in Eastern North Carolina and uh, was in a segregated school system. Somebody that you know, that you love, has lived here and lived through some of that. So I've asked this very special woman of God to come and to speak into your lives. I'm excited about it. Uh, I love her. I hope she knows that. Uh, she, she keeps on getting on to me uh, for having her speak. But you guys give a warm welcome to Miss Alice. All of you know are Miss Alice Cooley. Uh, praise God. I just bless you to stand before you and I honor to stand before you in Jesus' name. Um, as the pastor said, I did grow up in the 50s and the 60s, and um, during that time, there were. Um, during the time, I started from the beginning as a child. The neighborhood I lived in, we as children, we didn't know anything about the black and the whites and all the segregation that was going on because my neighborhood, uh, my mother and our neighbors, we was like family. Uh, even though all this was going on, we played with the little black kids, played with the white kids. And we didn't know no difference. We ate at their houses, and we just we just thought everything was happy go lucky. But never to say, my mother and her ancestors went through this. Um, and um, as I begin to grow up, I'm gonna just give it to you as um, I wrote it down as it was given to me. Um, uh, I said you didn't know. Um, uh, well, I did come up during the segregation. The school I was in, there was a black school called Woodson Elementary School here in Richlands. Uh, there was only three schools in Richlands at the time. There was Woodson Elementary, first through eighth grade. There was Trexler, that was the white school. And Richlands High School, Richlands High was the elementary school, high school. Um, and the black high schools went to Georgetown. They had to be bused every morning to go to school. Well. They bombed, they bombed Jacksonville High School. I mean, I'm sorry. They bombed Georgetown. And at the time of bombing Georgetown, it was in the segregation. Well, they decided to bring all the schools together in the 60s. Um, and at that time, Wilson was still there. Um, and I thank and praise God. We had some hard times during that time. We had to fight a little bit. We didn't have Jesus like the babies have here. We didn't know him in that matter. 
Um, and I thank God for how he brought us through that time. Um, and as we began to integrate, um, the blacks began going to the white school, and then they named Rich Wilson High School, and they gave that to be the high school. Uh, Trexler was the middle school. Um, during the eighth grade, it was option, it was not optional then. You could go if you wanted to, so I signed up to go. And any time we'd be going, um, the next year, it was optional, and everybody had to switch over. Um, and there was some hard times too. We have a place here in Richland, it's called the Tootin' Tell It Guy. Um, and we as blacks, we had to go through the back door to make our orders. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, it was all for our making. We didn't understand it then, but it made a lot of us who we are today. You guys, you have parents, and y'all had it so easy. Y'all don't even begin to know why people went through back there. And you were so blessed to be able to come together as black and white mm -hmm. and to love on one another and to enjoy one another because we're all God's children. And in God's sight, there's no black, there's no white, yeah. there's yeah. no Mexicans, there's no Puerto Ricans. We are all one in the sight of God. Right. And we are to love one another because without love, it's going to profit us nothing. Mm -hmm. And you guys are growing up in a time that it's time for y'all to get a mindset to love one another and to care for one another and to do for one another. And God honors that for being mean to one another, just treating one another. That's not the way to go, babies. And y'all got so much ahead of you. I, I tell you guys, I worked in the public school for 20 some years and you were in a blessed place. Y'all, you guys need to thank God that you didn't have to come up during the segregation. Mm -hmm. The time for the schools being divided and coming together. Because, as I said, those were some hard times. Because we were, some of us, like I said myself, it wasn't a problem for me. Because I was used to playing with those white kids. At that time, we didn't see no color. We didn't know whether we were white or black. We just played together. As I said, we ate at one another's houses. And when I was old, at my neighbor's house, and I did something wrong, man, don't tell my mother, because she could beat me, and then I could go home and get a beat. So you guys don't even know how to that, do you? Some of you don't even know what a, a beat is a whooping, or when your mother's thank you. Some of you guys don't even know anything about that. But I'm telling you, Kid made Miss Alice who she is today, because the Bible says, without chest out, when we spread the rod on you babies, we'll spoil in you. And you think your mother may be being mean to you, or she don't love you, but trust me, she loves you. She loves you. Because if she didn't, she wouldn't be here. And you would do anything you wanted to. And that's going to ruin you, baby, in life, in your personal life. So you love your mother, you respect your elders, and it's going to take you a long way. I'm 64, 65 years old, I'm trying to take a year off. But I'm 65 <laughs> years old, babies, and I still say yes, ma'am, to Miss Kelly, here's y'all. That's respect. No ma'am. Yes, sir. No, sir. That's respect. And when you feel respect, I promise you, the majority of the people are gonna give respect back. Mm -hmm. Some may not, because everybody don't have you. Everybody don't have the love of you. And that's why a lot of times show yourself friendly, people show themselves friendly back to you. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm gonna read one scripture with you, babies, and um here's um and matter of fact it was in 1 John 4 and 7, Beloved, let us, let us love one another, for love is of God. And everyone that loveth is born of God and knoweth God. Mm -hmm. So if you may just keep the love of God in your hearts, you know God. And continue to grow in the Lord, continue to grow in school. Get an education, baby. Miss Alice, 
I was one of those in school, I'm gonna tell you, did not apply herself. She played around with us. And when I decided to straighten it out and get it right, to God be the Lord, there was more in this out of that she realized. And I'm telling you, baby, get a good education. Learn by your people, because you're going to need it. Miss Alice loves you, but everybody don't love that. And a lot of you guys not going to love that. Get an education so you can get a good job, so you can go somewhere in your life, instead of being in class clown, or playing around, or doing things you got no business to get you in trouble that's going to make you a problem. Will you do that for yourself? And when you do it for Miss Alice, I love you, babies. Have a blessed evening. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to ask Miss Alice if she'll pray over all of us. And if, if you could, we pray for them that we'll learn the lessons that were learned when you integrated and you were coming up, that we would apply the same lessons to our lives. Amen. That God would receive the glory from that. Would you do that for us? Okay, she's going to close us in prayer. So you guys, let's pray for her. Thank you, Father. Heavenly Father, we come to you this evening, oh God, and we thank you, oh God, for your many blessings, oh God. God, we thank you for this day, Father God. God, we thank you this day for these days, oh God. We thank you for your blood covers upon them, oh God. We thank you for keeping them, Father God. We thank you for their little tender minds, oh God, that you would give them a mind to learn, oh God, a mind to love on you like never before, oh God. Open their hearts up, oh God, to the teaching, oh God, that the pastor, that the different teachers, uh, that they give them, oh God, as they go through these days in school, oh God. Many of them did not come out of Christian homes, oh God, but God let us put it in them while they are here, oh God. God, those that are coming out of Christian homes, oh God, deal with their mothers and their fathers and you bless them and you touch them, oh God. And you give them the wisdom, oh God, to put in their babies, oh God, to bring them up in the correct way, oh God. And I ask it in Jesus' name this day, oh God. God, I ask that you just touch every mind this day, oh God, every heart this day, oh God. Encourage them to strive, oh God. Encourage them this day, oh God. I ask it in Jesus' name, oh God. And God, the words of my mouth, oh God, that you have given me to say this day, oh God. Let it not fall on stony grounds, oh God. But give it to fall on good grounds today, oh God. That they will apply to their lives, oh God. They will grow up and love one another, oh God. Love the way they see what they see and what they don't see, oh God. People, some people are different, oh God. But don't let them put their nose up on them, oh God. Some people may not have what they have, oh God. But help them, oh God, to encourage people, to strengthen people, to love people, oh God, in the name of Jesus, God. For you are God, oh God, and you know and you see all things, oh God. And God, we thank you this day, oh God. We thank you for every child in this school today, oh God. We thank you for keeping them, oh God. Giving them a mind to learn, oh God, that they will go far in this life, oh God. To do right, oh God. Say, to do right, oh God, in the name of Jesus, God. And God, I ask that you bless each and every one of them, oh God. Bless our administrators today, oh God. Bless our secretaries, the receptionists, oh God. The pastor, oh God. The teachers, my God. Oh God, the subs, the TAs, oh God. Oh, God, I ask that you bless the custodians, oh, God. Just bless your people today, God. Bless these campers, oh, God. Give them to be holy ground, oh, God. And I ask it in Jesus' name, oh, God. Keep your blood and protection around this place. And we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, Miss Alice. Uh, just, just to put in perspective, if you want to know where Georgetown was, where the water company is on Wassa, that was Georgetown High School, and that's where she was talking about that got bombed back in her day that caused um, integration to happen. So thank you guys so much for listening to Miss Alice. Um, if you don't know the custodial staff's name in the middle school, you ought to ask her what her name is and learn her name as well. Love you guys. Have a great weekend. Make good decisions this weekend. Come back ready to learn and ready to bless the Lord. See you guys.
May we press stop.